and welcome back. So we did have mostly cloudy skies through most of the day, just a few degrees warmer than yesterday as we did make it to near 40 degrees. And other than that, we have stayed mainly dry and temperatures falling to 38 degrees right now at North Platte. Winds west northwest around six miles per hour, giving me a wind chill of 33 degrees. Here's a look at the temperatures across the region. We're into the lower 30s right now at Lexington, Hyannis, and Valentine. 34 right now at Broken Bow and Ogallala, and 36 out toward Imperial. Now, here's a look at the winds. They flipped around from northerly to more of a northwesterly direction. Wind speeds right now between 5 and 15 miles per hour. It's continuing to pump in that really cool air from the north, but the westerly component is going to keep us dry, especially along the I-80 corridor. Notice that the I-80 corridor is uh, mainly dry right now, mostly cloudy skies, but if, as you look further north, we do have some snow shower activities uh, from Valentine points up to the south in Cherry County and skirting the Mullen and Purdom area right now. We'll see how far south these snow showers can get. We uh, think that some of us will have a chance of some snow showers as we go through the late overnight, but we'll see uh, if uh, a majority of our population can pick it up. So we got this low pressure system moving off to the east. Uh, another uh, dual low pressure system is still giving some snow showers into the Midwest and into the Northeast. but. Our weather is right now being dominated, not by this high to our south, by this cold front that's sparking off some snow showers. We have a very strong northerly wind behind it. Another cold high pressure system is going to keep us on the cool side as we go through the rest of the weekend. Now, let's take a look at the skycast. Going through the night, mainly cloudy skies. We're keeping the uh, chance of some showers or uh, snow showers in the forecast, uh, but it looks like they will be light and it should be gone by mid morning tomorrow. Then we're going to have a decrease in cloud trend starting tomorrow into the low to mid 20s. High temperatures really not going very far. We'll be lucky if we get to 30 degrees tomorrow, still with partly to mostly cloudy skies and a stronger northerly wind. Now, the coldest air is going to be over us as we go through, say, the, the Friday morning period, as most of us will be into the single digits to near 10 degrees, and uh, we'll have low temperatures falling back to the, around 4 or 5 degrees before rebounding back to near 30 as we go through Friday. Uh, Friday should be mainly sunny, and we'll keep that westerly wind that'll keep us dry. So here's what it looks like on the forecast map. There's that low moving to the east. Not a lot of moisture associated with it, but that cold front making its way through will uh, unleash a lot of that really cool air from the Arctic once again with those highs as we go through Friday into Saturday, only near 30 degrees. But this high pressure system is going to be in charge of our forecast, and that is going to uh, give us a good amount of sunshine as we go through the weekend. So here's a look at the weather outlook. The snow continues as we finish out the work week from the northern plains into the Midwest into the Northeast and a little area into the Rocky Mountains that shouldn't get into our forecast area, but the jet stream is well off to our south, so we really got cold air working its way in. They stay dry off the west coast. That's going to be our weather as we go through later on into the week. So here's the extended forecast. Uh, we're near 30 in the next couple of days. The snow showers should end by tomorrow morning, then back to sunshine by Friday. Still breezy through Saturday when we'll be sunny and a high of 40. And then near 50 on Sunday, lots of sunshine. Low 50s Monday and Tuesday, still mostly sunny. And Wednesday, partly cloudy. Just a chance of some rain or snow showers and a high of 54 degrees. Kent? And still some pretty overnight, uh, cold overnight lows ahead of us. Yeah, we should be into the single digits starting off Friday morning. All right, thanks so much. Coming up, one Husker showing lots of grit over the weekend against Michigan. And interim head coach Mickey Joseph is looking for more of that out of his team. Sports is next on News 2.